Hey everyone, it's Benitas here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special announcement. I'm going to be launching my upcoming flow series and it will be called WTF. In other words, what the flow. So this came about because early this year I had presented at Dynamics 365 Saturday in Melbourne. And the last thing I said in my blog post was that I would like to convert my Dynamics 365 workflows into Flow. So fast forward a few months, I'm now invited to present later this month at the Dynamics 365 Saturday in New Zealand in Wellington. And this time around I decided, okay, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to go ahead and convert my Dynamics 365 workflows into Flow. Now there was a lot of hair pulling moments because the way that we're used to configuring in Dynamics 365 workflows is not as straightforward in Flow. The reason is it's because it uses the OData APIs of Dynamics 365. So what we're used to in terms of the interface of selecting the entity as well as the steps in Dynamics 365 workflows is somewhat different in Flow. However, the good news is that most of the steps and the expected functionality in Dynamics 365 workflows is configurable in Flow today. The only difference is that you need to understand how to use Flow within the context of Dynamics 365. Because as I mentioned, it's quite different, but once you get the hang of it, it's fine. So the purpose of these vlog series is to educate you as well as the wider community on how to use Dynamics 365 workflows. Sorry, <laughs> let's try that again. So the purpose of my upcoming vlog series is to help you understand how would you go about in creating Dynamics 365 workflows in Flow. So what to expect in this upcoming vlog series is first of all I will cover beginner topics and then I will move on to advance. So beginner topics are things like how to recreate AND and OR statements, how to do contains data or does not contain data in conditions, and things like how to reference a lookup field because referencing a lookup field is slightly different in flow. And then in terms of the advanced topics, I'm going to show you things like how to successfully create a resource requirement against a custom entity as part of universal resource scheduling, and how to do things as add days to a date time field in Dynamics 365. So these are the type of things to expect and I will also be showing you some cool things. Now before we wrap up this vlog, there's a few other people in the community that I do want to mention that you can check out right now. So the first one is Yuka. If you don't know who Yuka is, what planet are you on? So Yuka presented last year at Also Saturday um, and he described the differences between Dynamics 365 workflows and Flow. Now it's a really good blog post because he covers it in detail and it's also the kickstart, um, kickstarting your learning on how you can get on board with Flow. The other person that I want to mention is Bruce Wayne, aka Bruce Siddle in Sydney. So he's another person in the community who does vlogs and blog posts on Flow with Dynamics 365. Secondly, the other person who I do want to let you guys know about is Yawa Iqbal. So he's a, he's a fellow Melbourneian and I see him at the Dynamics 365 user groups. So he has a blog and he covers Flow Dynamics 365. Lastly, there is Sahan. Now Sahan, I cannot pronounce your surname, so I'm not even going to try. But Sahan is a recently awarded MVP. He does blogs and he also does blogs on Flow of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Thanks for joining me today. Now hit subscribe because I have a lot of cool content coming up with Flow in the context of Dynamics 365. You can also follow me on Twitter. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!